It began with a high-speed approach and then a nail-biting descent. One year ago, NASA's most expensive, most sophisticated rover successfully touched down on Mars. Mission control erupted. Years of planning had paid off and a series of discoveries was to follow. This sequence of pictures shows how Curiosity got to work, exploring the landscape for clues about whether conditions here in the distant past could ever have supported life. Let's imagine we could be on Mars right beside Curiosity. The most striking thing is the rover's sheer size, but this allows it to carry more instruments than ever before to see if life could ever have existed here. Now, the first discovery was on the surface itself. Curiosity was actually among rocks that had formed the bed of a stream. So we now know that water flowed here in the ancient past. Then the rover extended its arm, a complicated set of manoeuvres to try something never attempted before on another planet, to use a drill on the end of the arm to dig below the surface. Just a couple of inches, six centimetres or so, but the results were amazing. The drilling revealed a kind of clay which can only be formed in water with the right chemical balance for life. In fact, the water would have been drinkable, proof, according to NASA, of the first discovery of a potential habitat on a world beyond our own. Exactly like some A rock from an old stream in Britain, very similar to what's been found on Mars. Sanjeev Gupta, part of NASA's science team, says the findings are incredibly significant. This water wouldn't have been too salty or too acidic. It would have been sweet water, which on Earth is perfect for life to thrive in. So here on Mars, we have rocks perfectly conducive for life in the ancient past. Curiosity is on the move again. Water once flowed here. And we now know that life, at least, had a chance. David Shookman, BBC News.